Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPod touch and you have the black screen of death on here. Very easy fix. By the end of this video, 90% of you guys will be up and running. I'm gonna give you guys a bunch of solutions. So make sure you go through every solution, okay? So first thing we gotta do is, the first thing to try, basically your phone is on, it's just nothing on your screen, okay? So the first thing to always do is force your iPod touch to restart. Now, this is an iPod touch seventh generation. And if you have a iPod Touch 6th generation, it's a different two key combination to force it to restart, okay? So if you have the iPod Touch 6th uh, generation or prior, you need to press and hold two buttons. It's the power button and the home button. You need to press and hold, continue to hold, and wait till the Apple logo appears, then let go. Now if you have a 7th generation or above, you need to do is hold the power button and the volume down button. You wanna press and hold these both buttons until the Apple logo appears and you can let go. So let's do this together, okay? So again, this is the seventh generation, so I'm gonna go for the power button and volume down, okay? Ready, one, let's pretend my phone's black. One, two, three, press and hold. Continue to hold, do not let go. I'm waiting for that Apple logo to appear. I'm still holding on to both the buttons here. Hopefully it appears, if it doesn't appear after a while, I'll go ahead and let go and do it again. Anyways, it appeared, go ahead and let go and you guys should be up and running, if not, we're going to go to the next option. Okay, so the the, the uh, next step is pretty, it's basically the same thing as the uh, first step, except this time what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug our iPod Touch in. You want to give it power. Let it charge for about five minutes, okay? Let it charge, come back, and we want to do the same thing. Again, pretend my phone is uh, black. Go ahead and, while it's plugged in, go ahead and continue with the force restart. Again, if you have the six or prior, uh, home button, power button. If you have the seventh generation or above, volume down, power. So let's do this together now. Ready? One, two, three. Press and hold both buttons. I'm going to continue to hold until the Apple logo appears. It takes a little bit longer for the Apple logo to appear typically when you have it plugged in charging. Okay, so I'm still holding on both buttons here. I'm not going to let go until I see that Apple logo. If it takes too long, you may have to retry it again. Okay, anyways, okay, there we go. We got it. I'm going to go ahead and let go, and hopefully you guys are back up and running. Now, if you guys still have a black screen of death, most of you guys should have your um, iPod Touch back up and running. However, for those of you that still have a black screen, this is what I want you to do next. What I want you to do is grab both of your thumbs, and I, what I want you to do is go ahead and just press on the screen, okay? Press all over the screen, and even on top, all over, all over, okay? You want to give it a little bit of pressure. Keep pushing in all the way down. Pretend my um, iPod Touch here is still black. Keep pressing, turn it over, do the same thing on the back, okay? All over, all over, just like that. Now flip it over, now now go ahead and do the uh, force restart again. Do it without, without it plugged in. If it didn't work, then go ahead and try it with the cable again, okay? And if you guys are still down, you still have a black screen, the next thing I want you to do is this. Go ahead and grab your phone, and what I want you to start doing I want you to start tapping all over because a lot of times basically is just a loose something that's like loose in there and a simple touch or a drop of the uh, iPod touch believe it or not can reactivate that so just keep tapping all around the screen here turn it around tap all around the uh, camera lens too all on there keep tapping all over okay now, same thing. Go ahead and do a force restart. Wait for the Apple uh, logo to appear, then let go, and hopefully you're back up and running. If you're not, grab the cable, plug it in, and do the same thing. Now, if you still have a black screen, the next thing I want you to do is this, okay? Just go ahead and give it a nice, grab your hand, and give it a nice whack. Turn it over. Turn it over on the, uh, make sure you hit the screen as well. Then go ahead and do the force restart again, and hopefully you guys are back up and running. If, if it doesn't work on the uh, force restart without it plugged in, go ahead and plug it back in, and then try to force restart. Now, but now at least 90% of you guys should be up and running right now. If you're still not up and running, do the same procedure over again. You may have to do it two, three, four, five, five more times. Anyways, let me know which uh, method worked for you, or which combination of method methods you think worked for you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.